So you put all your delicious Christmas food into a large uh, chest freezer like this, and perhaps you're worried there's a power cut, what's gonna happen to it over the seasonal period? Well, there's a great question from Leighton Trent, one of my subscribers. He said, could you run a chest freezer like this off a solar generator, something like this? Well, yes and no, you need to be a little bit careful. This is a 500 watt unit, and the plate on the back of the freezer says it only needs 75 watts. So in theory, it should easily be able to run it, but it's trying here, and it's gonna overload. And the reason it overloads is because the startup power on a freezer like this is very high. In this case, obviously much more than this thing can handle. I'm confident that the next size unit up, which is twice the weight of this, could start the freezer, and once it started, it would run on a thousand watt hour unit for two or three days. Now, to top the energy up from solar is a whole different question. You've got to get the right amount of solar panels depending on where you live. In a sunny place, it might be a single panel the size of the top of that fridge there, but somewhere else you could need very many. So subscribe or talk to me in the comments and I'll help you think about how to size a solar array for this sort of application and bigger.